teacher Kaisa Hansen was counting on her $12,000 tax refund to pay upcoming bills, such as a new battery for her wheelchair. Problem is, her refund is in limbo. It makes me angry and frustrated. I don't have any idea when it's going to come, and I don't, in all honesty, really understand the reason for the delay. Hansen's tax refund is on hold because she claimed a small tax credit for school supplies purchased for her students. Oil pastels for art projects. The government upped the school supply tax credit limit to $250, but the change is part of a new federal bill which hasn't yet been passed. Until that happens, the CRA says it can't process tax returns for teachers claiming the credit. It's not just the tax credit, it's the whole process of any other refund that they have is now being delayed because their returns are being put aside and that's just not right. My tax refund is just over $4,000. Uh, Money this teacher had banked on coming in by now. I've had to ask my mom for a loan just in, I don't know, it just breaks my heart that I have to go to that step, but that's where it is right now. To avoid delays, teachers can file their taxes and postpone claiming the credit. The CRA says it forewarned accountants and tax software companies, but many teachers who filed their own taxes say they were left in the dark. If they told us there was going to be a delay, I wouldn't have bothered filing for it. For those teachers that have already submitted their tax return, there's unfortunately nothing that they can do at this point other than, other than hope that the legislation receives royal assent sometime soon. The Liberal government says the Conservatives are playing political games by holding up the bill's passage. The Conservatives say the Liberals have the power to quickly pass the bill. Meanwhile, teachers plea for both parties to play nice and get this legislation passed. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Toronto.